Corinthians chapter 3, starting around about verse 8. And I was asking God this morning, I said, Lord, what, 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 so we'll start with verse 7. And I asked the Lord, I said, what, what, what should I share this morning? And this kind of just, hallelujah, came into my spirit, hallelujah, and, uh, and I feel like this is the direction that, that I'm going to go. Amen. Let, let, let us bow our heads and pray. Amen. As we get into the word of God. Amen. Father God, we thank you this morning. We thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Now, Father, your words are where there are two or three of us gathered in your name, that you'll be a God in the midst of us. Yes. And Father God, we thank you this morning that you are Jehovah Shammah, that you're here. And Father God, we thank you this morning, amen, for setting your anointing and your presence up on this house. Yes. Father God, I pray in Jesus' name that you will speak to us prophetically by your spirit this yes. morning, Father God. And also, I decree by faith, Father God, Isaiah mm -hmm. 10, 27 says, it is the anointing that destroys the yoke. Mm -hmm. Father God, I decree by faith that every yoke, every bondage, every weight that is up on the hearts of your people, Father God, I decree by faith in the mighty name of Jesus that every burden will be lifted this morning. And Father God, I just decree by faith, oh God, that when we leave this place, we'll not be the same again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Y'all do something for me. Amen. I don't know why I feel a shift. I always feel a shift. Mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. Y'all lift your hands for me this morning. Let's just worship the Lord. And thank the Lord for being here. Father God, we worship you this morning. Father God, we welcome your presence this morning. Branda la bahusha tabahasha tabahashi andaba. Branda la bahasi andaba bahusha taba. Mandore kanda la bahusha taba. Branda la bahusha tabahasha taba. Branda la bahusha tabahasha taba. Brando la bahusi andaba bahasi andaba. Hallelujah, Lord, we welcome you this morning. We praise you this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We glorify you this morning. Brando Rushaba Mango Shata Baha Branda la Bahu Shata Baha Shata Baha Shata Branda la Baha Shata Baha Shata Baha Shata Baha Shata Branda la Bahu Shata Baha Shata Baha Branda la Baha Shata Baha Shata Baha Shata Baha Mando Roshi Baha Shata Baha Shata Baha Shata Jesus name. Amen. You all may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Now somebody said, Pastor Buzz, what did you just get through saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I just got through hearing. No. Amen. And, and, and as I was going into tongues, I heard the Spirit of God say this to me. And it may be you. And I always tell people, when God says something, you got to be bold. You can't be afraid. That's Amen. Amen. Because sometimes he's real specific. <laughs> it's true. Amen about certain things. But 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 I heard him, I heard the spirit say to me when I was going up into tongues. And, and, and this is what it said to me. And, and, and I believe that it's someone that's here today. But 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 the spirit was saying to me, he said, Victor, he says, there's somebody here today. They've been going through a lot. And as he was saying it to me, he gave me Galatians 6 and 9. He said, don't be weary in well-doing. Mm -hmm. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Mm -hmm. So if somebody you've been going, and this is what God was saying to me. He said, he said you've been going through a, a, a great warfare, a, a, a period of testing and, and, and warfare. But the Lord said to me, he, he said, pray for them today. Yes, Lord Jesus. Now, I don't know who that is. But, but but I want you to come up here. We want to anoint and pray for you. Because I, I, I saw great weight. I saw great pressure coming against you. Amen. And the Lord said, anoint them and pray for them. Yes. And I'm going to lift the load. I'm going to lift the burden yes. off of their yes. hearts yes. and off of their minds. Because yes, they've, they, they've been in great warfare. Yes. They've been under great pressure. Yes, Lord. You know? Jesus. You know? And, and it's almost like God, God was, and it ain't almost what God was saying to me. He said, Victor, he said, it's like they've been fighting for survival. Because the enemy's been trying to take the life out of them. Yes, Lord. But for somebody today, God said, I'm going to move this out the way. And I'm going to pray. 
And, and that can be one person. Now, that can be all, the, all of y'all. Y'all come on, line up here. Amen, because I believe in obeying the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we ain't got to preach. All we got to do is pray sometimes. Amen. 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 I mean, we, we got to follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we're just going to anoint you. Amen. You know, that's James chapter 5. The Bible says, In the sick among you. Amen. Call for the elders of the church. Anoint them. Pray. Amen. The prayer of faith. God will forgive them for their sins. And God will raise them up. Amen. Amen. And, and woman of God, you, you know, Brancha Bahashi and Darabagosha Tabahashi and Darabahusha Taba. Brancha Bahasha Tabahusha Tabahashi and Darabahusha Taba. Aranda Bahasha Tabahasha Tabahasha Taba. Branda Bahasha Tabahasha Tabahasha Taba. Aranda Bahusha Tabahashi and Darabahusha Bahashi. You know, the scripture said, He that has begun this work in you is going to finish it. Yes. To, to, yes to the day of Jesus. Christ. And the Lord said, Tell her, I'm going to finish the work that I've started in her, says the Lord. And, and I'll tell you this. And, and I saw the enemy coming against you. Yes, Lord. Now, now, these words that I heard, but and I'm going to say these words, but God said, Tell her, don't worry about nothing. Because. Everything that I promised her, I'm going to do it in her life. And, 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 you know, but, but I saw, I, I, I saw, I, I, I saw demonic attack. I, I saw the enemy coming against you. The enemy trying to say, God ain't going to do this. God ain't going to do that. It's too late. You ain't got time. Amen. But, but, but how do you know that? that, 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 that Amen. God, 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 God don't deal with time, do it. Amen. God, God deals in eternity. God, you know something? God, God said, tell her. God said, if necessary, you, you remember what Joshua did, don't you? The Bible said that Joshua made time stand still. I mean, that, that, that if necessary, God, 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 God will put his hand on time. Amen. If necessary, to get his purpose out of it. Amen. And, and so God said, tell my daughter this. Amen. That time ain't got nothing to do with what I called you to do. But God said, I move in season. Yeah. Right in time. Hallelujah. So God said, in a set season, yeah. he's going to, amen, you, you, you're going you're gonna to walk into the fullness yes. of, uh, of what he's called you to do. Yes. So, so the Lord said, tell my daughter, don't be wearing well doing in due season. You shall reap your faith now. Yes. Father God, in the name of Yahshua, Jesus' name, Father yes. God, we just release the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Father God, we break every Jesus. stronghold and every power yes. of yes. the enemy that's been coming against your daughter. Your word said, whatever we bind in the heaven. You are binding the earth, Father God. Brando Nishama, Mango Shiba Hashiaba, Brand Shaba Hashiaba, Rako Luta Mahan Shibaya, Brand Shaba Hosaba Hashiaba. Father God, we break every stronghold of the enemy that, that has been coming against your daughter. We command it to go in the name of Jesus. But Father God, we speak the Lord, we speak peace over the spirit of your daughter. We ask you to bless her, we ask you to increase her, we ask you to favor her like never before, Father God. God. And Father God, we decree that, that the enemy will no longer hinder, stop what you have called us to do, Father God. But we decree by faith in the name of Jesus that, Father God, that this work that you're starting, Father God, that is going to come off in this season. We release the anointing of the Holy Spirit over your daughter. For your words said the same anointing that called us will teach us and guide us. I stir up that anointing. I stir up that Holy Ghost on the inside of the Holy I and I release her, God. Amen. As your prophet and as your apostle, I release her into, into that anointing land or Ruka, Man Shaba, Mango Shaba, Hasaba, Branda Shaba, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we decree it by faith. Yes, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. I'm going to show you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Amen. Father God, we thank you for your daughter today. Father God, we just speak so, so long. We speak peace over her mind and over her spirit. Your word, amen, tell us in, in, in St. John 14, it said, let not your heart be troubled. Father God, we decree, Father God, that every trouble of the heart, everything that the enemy is bringing against your daughter, we take authority, we plead the blood of Jesus against it. But Father God, we speak peace, we speak so long over your daughter this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God, 
We thank you this morning that you are Jehovah Nisi, that you are our victory, you are our banner, Heavenly Father, and I decree victory over your daughter, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God, we bind every demon and every spirit that would come against your daughter. We take authority, we plead the blood of Jesus against it. But Father God, we, amen, Father God, we speak peace over your daughter's wow. heart and over her mind. And Lord, we do thank you today that you are Jehovah Jireh, that you are our provider, Lord. I pray for supernatural Whoa. provision to come over your daughter like never That's before. Crazy. Me supply every need, Father yes. God. Bless her family, bless her home, bless yes. and then bless the works of her hand, God. Yes. Bless the ministry that yes. you placed on the inside of her. Yes. And use her, Heavenly Father, yes. for your kingdom. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We thank you for it, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hey, no, 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 Bless your family, bless your home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. And yes, God, we thank you for Sister Sheba this morning. Yes, ma'am. We will. Father God, we come in agreement with the woman of God this morning for her son. Now, the Bible said in Psalms 107 and 20 that you sent your word and it healed yes. and it delivered them, Father God. We, we, we send the word this morning, Father God, to, yes. amen, to drone, Father God, and we decree yes. deliverance. We decree salvation yes. over them, Father yes. God. We decree yes. that every weapon that the enemy has formed against them, Father yes. God, we decree yes. that it will not prosper in the name of yes. Jesus. Yes. Isaiah 54, 17, you said yes. no weapon formed yes. against us shall prosper. Every yes. tongue yes. that rises up against us in judgment shall yes. be condemned. Yes. Father God, we decree that the weapon of death, yes, the weapon of yes, sickness and disease and yes, infirmity. Yes, we decree that it will not destroy her yes, son. We yes. take authority over it. We plead the blood of Jesus. But Father God, we decree deliverance over his life right yes, now. Yes, and not only that, Father God, the Bible said that you have given us ministering angels yes, to minister yes, for yes, those that are heirs of salvation. Yes, Father God, yes, we send your angels to watch over him this morning, Father yes, God. Yes, we decree yes, that the hand of the enemy will not prosper over his life. Yes, hey, protecting Lord, angels, Jesus. watch over and keep him yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God, we decree that every plan of the enemy, that, that every plot of the enemy, God, it'll be plucked up in the name of Jesus and it will not prosper over his life. And we claim him for the kingdom of God and we decree, Father God, that he shall live and not die and shall declare the works of the Lord. We decree it over his life in Jesus' name. And Father God, also we ask you to give Sister C to give her peace in her spirit. Oh, we thank you that you are Jehovah alone, that you are our peace, God. And we thank you, Father God, that your word said, Father God, that you will perfect everything that concerns us. Father God, that means our personal life, our family, our sons and our daughters. God, we thank you for it right now, that you're going to perfect everything concerning her sons, Tyrone and Jerome both, Father God. We thank you for touching their lives. We thank you for preserving them and keeping them, Father God. We decree that the hand of the enemy cannot have them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you, and we speak peace, we speak shalom, we speak victory over this family, God, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 How many of God know what people are going through? Amen. Amen. And, and we just got to be led by the Holy Spirit. Yes, Amen. Amen. And I want to obey the, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. How many of that God see what you're going through? Amen. 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 And, and, and God said he loves you. Amen. Amen. And let, let's go to, I'm going to take a few minutes. We'll be out there at least by 15, 20 after, after 12 at the most. Let, let, let's go to Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. And this is the Apostle Paul. And, and you know, I want to say this. I mean, as I, as I teach this lesson, and, and I believe that this is what Apostle, the Apostle was saying to the church. And, 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 and Apostle Paul was also dealing with himself. Because y'all know uh, the Apostle Paul was a Pharisee, right? 
and, and, and he, he was chosen of God and he was circumcised on the eighth day. All that is in this chapter uh, about the life of the Apostle Paul. And so the Apostle Paul, as a man of God, he, he pretty much had a right to glory. Amen. Because he was a chosen, he was chosen of, uh, of God. And, 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 and the Apostle Paul, he said, y'all know he said at the feet of Gamedes, right? Yes. One of the greatest teachers, amen, there was. So the Apostle Paul was taught by the bats. Amen. But we found out the Apostle Paul said those things that could cause me to boast, he said, I count them as nothing. That's right. He said that I may win Christ. Amen. How many know that in order to walk with God in your life, that even though you may have a degree, even though you may be prosperous, even though God has blessed you, how many know you got to be willing to let everything go amen. and count it as, as, as done? I mean, as, amen. As, as nothing. Amen. He said that I may do what? That I may win Christ. How you know the only way that you're going to win Christ, receive everything that God has for you, that means that everything in your life, then you got to be willing to give it to God and say, God, guess what? That means my children, that means my marriage, that means my, amen, whether I have a degree, whether, well, whatever my, my status is in life, I got to be willing to say, God, I'm willing to lay it down. And even the Bible tells us that if you seek to save your life, you'll lose it, right? But if you're willing to lay it down, you'll find it. So the Apostle Paul had the revelation of, Guess what? How I'm going to be prosperous, how I'm going to be blessed, is I got to be willing to let it go. Yes, amen. How many of we spend too much time trying to do things on our own? Amen. But the only way we're going to be successful and be prosperous in God is God said, guess what? You're going to have to give it to me. Amen. Amen. And that's what Peter said. Peter said that we are to cast our cares upon him, for he cares for us. Yes. How many know you yes. don't have no business carrying the cares of life, but you're supposed to put everything up on Christ. Amen. You're supposed to give it to him, Amen. and how many know that he'll take care of you? Amen? Amen. You know, the Bible even said it, that the steps of a good man are ordered of God. Amen. How many know that when you let God order your steps, yes. God will take care of your business? Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. But we gotta count everything as as, as nothing. That's right. God, uh, He said that I may li listen to the statement that I may win Christ. Y'all said it with me, Christ. 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 The, the, the the word Christ, the the Greek word for Christ is Christos. Mm -hmm. It means the anointing. Amen. It means God's presence. How many know a lot of us that come out of the traditional church? We think Christ is His last name. <laughs> but Christ is the anointed Messiah. Amen. Well, what it means is that Christ, amen, Christ Jesus, amen, he's anointed by God. It means that God's presence is upon him. Y'all remember what John the Baptist said in John chapter 3? He, this is what he said. He said, to whomever you see the Spirit of God descend upon and remain, the same is the Son of God. How many know that, that when Jesus was baptized, in Jordan, yes. that the presence of God came in and abided upon yes. him. It stayed upon him. Yes. And then how we know that in the New Testament, that the Spirit of God abides upon you. It don't do like it did in the Old Testament. The, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, it, descend, it, it, it descended, but it also ascended. And after God got through using them, the Spirit of God lifted off of the prophets. Yes. But in the New Testament... Yes. Amen. God's spirit remains Amen. upon us and Amen. within us. That's why the Bible tells us, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. How you know that your body was built for God to live in, for the Holy Spirit to live on mm -hmm. the inside of Amen. 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 And, and so when we're talking about when in Christ, we're talking about the anointing. Yes. Amen. God's presence. Yes. The word anointing also means to smear, means to rub. It, it means the hand of God upon a person's life. Y'all know in the Old Testament when, when Samuel anointed David as king, what did he do? He had he put he, he anointed his he poured oil upon his head. Hey, amen. And he anointed him. And but but God's presence was upon David. Amen. I mean, that David went out and he, amen, he defeated his enemies. And he, he killed more than Saul killed. Saul got mad because God was anointing was upon David. But listen to this. Amen. Saul was anointed the first king. Amen. Yes. Listen to this. The only reason God rejected 
and Saul because God says, Saul, you was great. <laughs> you was great. Until you start thinking you was great. <laughs> he said you was great when you saw yourself small in your own eyes. But as soon as I gave you some power, as soon as I made you king, then guess what you did? Amen. You, you, you got that big head. Amen. How many know that, that if you start getting a big head and thinking you so great and you so powerful and you so wonderful, how many know that God will <laughs> start making a transition to move you out of position of power and he raise somebody up. And there's nobody in this house, there's nobody in ministry that's so great that God won't replace you if you get full of a spirit of arrogance and pride. So, 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 don't be like Saul to decide, guess what God, you bless me, now I'm better than everybody else. Isn't that something for God to say, you was, you, you, you was great. God, that's what God considered greatness is. Great, greatness. Humility. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being humble. That's right. And the Apostle Paul figured it out. How many of you know that's why Apostle Paul was due so great? Because he found out I'm nothing. Without him. Oh, that's right. And I don't care. And I, I don't care what a preacher said. We, uh, the problem with the church now, we got too many people with too many PhDs and too many degrees. Yeah. But, ain't no, but there's nobody unknowing to Everybody got a lot of education and a, a lot of head knowledge, but when you don't have the anointing, then your life can't really be effective. How I many know that intellectual, being intellectual, will not deliver people, but it's the anointing of the Holy Spirit Amen. that'll set the captives free, that'll yes. open the prison door. Yes. Isaiah 61. Yes. You gotta have the anointing of the Holy Spirit up on your life Amen. in order to destroy yokes on other people's lives. Amen. But that means that you gotta be willing to give up yourself, Amen. give up your status. Give up what you think you're so great. Yes. Amen. And God will use you. God will use you. Let, let's hurry up and get y'all home. He said, but what things were gained to me, those I count lost. He said, for Christ. And again, the word Christ is anointing. How many of you got to be willing to give everything up for the anointing of God? That's right. Amen. God, I want your anointing. God, I want your presence in my life. Amen. Amen. You know what? And, and I think about this all the time. Amen. When situations come against me, temptations come against me, I say, God, amen, I'm not giving up my anointing for fornication. I'm not giving up my anointing for adultery. I'm not giving up my anointing for getting drunk and getting high and running the seat. I'm not I, I got to protect the anointing of God, the presence of God upon my life. How many of you got to understand that, that, that the oil, the anointing that's upon your life is precious, is powerful. Amen. 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 And you, you, you need to protect the anointing that is on your life. Yes. That's right. Amen. Now, of course, y'all know that oil that I'm talking about mm -hmm. <laughs> comes from the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Acts 1 and 8 said, when you receive the Holy Ghost, you shall receive power, uh -huh. yes. supernatural ability. That means that God's power, God's anointing moves Amen. up on your life. It gives you supernatural ability where you Amen. Where you can do things that you normally can't do. Right. How many know, you know? You know what I found out, woman of God? That, that it's, it's natural for me to sing it. <laughs> it's natural for me to act a fool. <laughs> but because I've been born again of the Holy Spirit and received the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, it gives me a new nature. Amen. So now I don't have to do what is natural. Amen. That was natural. I can do what is supernatural because the nature of God comes out of his word, right? First Peter 1 Peter 1.23 says... That we have been born again, not of the corrupt seed, but of the incorruptible seed, which is the word of God which lives and abides forever. So I'm not just born of a corrupt seed. One translation says, I'm not just born of the seed of my parents, but I'm now born of the seed of God. And that means now I have God's nature. I have God's seed. I have God's genetic. And so that means everything that is in me, amen, comes out of God. And the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, the anointed one. He's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are new and all things are of God. How I many know everything in our life should be like God because we are born again of the spirit and not just of the flesh. Amen. So, so if you're born again, your, your nature ought to change. That's right. Amen. I hear people say, Pastor but I just can't change. But you need to 
Find out what you're born of. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. It's, it's hard. Now, just to think about this. If I've given you the ability to okay, change, right. why would it be hard? Right. It would be unfair if I, I, I have an expectation of you and don't, and don't help you. I'll right. give you a solution to whatever you're going to do. But God said, guess what? I'm going to defeat sin through Jesus, but I'm also going to empower you so you can overcome it. How many of that God has given you? God didn't just send you out here and leave you by yourself and leave you powerless. He also gave you the ability to be able to overcome, to be able to live a, a, a life of peace, a life of righteousness. So everything you needed, the Bible said God has already provided. That's not what you have need of. He has already provided. He's provided your righteousness. He provided your peace. He provided your prosperity. He provided your healing. But you got to receive it by faith. Amen. Right. You gotta receive it. And I tell people all the time, don't come tell me what you can't do. That's right. Just tell me what you don't want to do. <laughs> that's the truth. Because you can do all things through who? Christ that strengthens you. So don't come tell me I, well, I can't overcome from the case. Yes, you can. <laughs> The guy gonna come to him, press one. I fell into what happened. Now you didn't fall down. You laid down. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 now you, you don't fall down into certain things. You lay down. Do it. So, so don't tell me, Amen, that you just fail. Amen. You, you chose to do it. There's a lot of things we choose to do. Yeah. But, but you know what I found out? The problem is, if you don't have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. That's right. right. I was telling somebody on yesterday, a preacher friend of mine, that he was just shocked. You know, but but he's you know he's kind of a quote quote like a theologian. He's very educated. But he said he said man, I've never in all my days heard nobody say what you just said to me. <laughs> and you know what I told him? I said I said man, I said let me tell you something. If you can get to the place where you can hear the voice of God, yes. God will give you wisdom mm -hmm. yes, that will confound the wise. That's right. Mm -hmm. He'll right. tell you stuff. That they, 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 got, they figured it out through their intellect and their education. Amen. But God said, I'll give you some wisdom that'll, amen, that, that'll, amen, that'll be beyond what, what, what they learned out of a book. Sure. And, and I was telling them, and me and him was having a conversation. And I told him, I said, I said, listen, I said, I didn't know this. But how do you know that thing that, you, that, well, that person that you call the Holy Spirit? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's not just for you to speak in tongues and power in the middle of the clothes. No, he's not. <laughs> mess up your hair, mess up your makeup. No. <laughs> Turn up your suit. That, that ain't all he for. No, the Bible says he's a teacher. Yeah. He's a guide, right? Yeah, right. But what he gonna guide you? The Bible says into all, all truth, truth, right? Amen. So, but but not only that, but I didn't know this. One day I was praying and and and, and I went to God to pray. I said. I said, I started praying. I said, Jesus, help me to overcome this. Amen. Help me to overcome this struggle, this battle. Yes. And the Spirit of God spoke to me in my, in my prayer. He said, get up off of your feet and quit praying like that. Mm -hmm. yes. He said, why are you asking Jesus to help you to obey my word? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. He said, that's not his job. Mm. Y'all know them trade folks looked at me like y'all did too. <laughs> oh, y'all just looked at me with it. I, I saw that religious look when it went across your face. <laughs> but you know what God said to me? He said, and, and, and I pray, God, God, make me righteous. Help me to walk in. God, God said to me, He said, quit praying that prayer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let me explain. This is what he said. He said, Jesus has already made you righteous. Amen. Now, now listen to this. He said, but, but when you go back and you read Corinthians chapter 3, the Bible called the Holy Spirit the administrator of righteousness. Amen. God said to me, he said, quit praying that Jesus make you righteous, but pray that the Holy Spirit will manifest righteousness on the inside of you. He said, this is what God said. He said, it's the job of the Holy Ghost to manifest righteousness in your life, to make it visible, tangible in your life. He said, that's the job of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, that ain't my job. He said, I did it, but the Holy Ghost is what's going to help you to walk in it and manifest what I've already given. So he said, quit praying to me to make yourself Pray that the Holy Ghost will manifest it in your life. God, yeah. that's his job is to work righteousness in the heart of every believer. I mean, sometimes we pray things 
take up that we think it sounds good, but it's not right. Amen. 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 Uh, right. Go back and read, read Philippians 1 and 12. It, it talks about bearing the fruit of righteousness. All right. how, how do all this? How do you bear the fruit of righteousness? It comes through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So our the righteousness that Jesus provided. The only way it's going to be manifested in our lives is through the person of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. So if you don't have Him in you, that's right. You don't have nobody to help you. you right. All right. Or to cause you to walk in righteousness. Why? Because your human nature is corrupt. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. That's why he sent the third person. Well, we call the third person of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. They three, but they're one. Amen. And, and he comes to live on the inside. Yes. Yes. So guess what? When you got the Holy Ghost in you, you got the righteousness of God. Amen. You. Amen. And then there's something to have a gift in you. Yes. And never open it up. Yes. Yes. Lord have mercy. A lot of us got the gift of the Holy Ghost. We haven't even opened up the gift yet. That's right. I don't know about y'all, but when Christmas comes, I open everything that belongs to me. <laughs> and I even want some more. Amen. I want some more. Somebody, you know, but, but, but you know what? Have, the Bible said we have this treasure in the earthly vessel, Christ in us, the Holy Ghost. So, so, amen. How I many know we, we, we got to open up this gift? We got, amen. We got to receive the righteousness of God that comes through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. But, Pastor, my how is this going to work? That means you got to be willing to give up yourself. Amen. God, I'm going to count everything as nothing. Amen. That I may win the anointing. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's, true. it's the anointing that you need. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's the anointing. Amen. So, sometime, man. Let me help y'all. That's all right. Come on, That's all right. Amen. But what things were gained for me, those I counted lost for Christ. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh -uh. Let me tell you something. Sometimes you got to give up your family. Sure. Oh, yes, you do. Amen. Amen. Well, and you know what I mean when I say give them up? I mean you have to put them in the hands of God. Yes. In order to win. Amen. Sometimes you got to let things go. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's an old saying, but it's not biblical. Yeah. Amen. You know, it's the truth. There's some truth to it, though. If you let it go and it meant to be in your life, it'll come back. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that sometimes you got to be able to. And, and that, that's, that's really biblical. Yeah. Amen. And if you let it go in time, it'll return. Sure. If it's God's will. I don't I, 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 you know. I believe that in time, well, whoever God has for your life or whatever God has in your life, amen, if you're willing to let it go instead of running behind it, say, God, guess what? I, I'm not going to try to make this thing work. I'm not going to try to make nothing happen. Amen. And you, you let it go, and if you let it go, I believe that God will bring it back to your life. But Amen. you gotta be willing first to let it go. Amen. God told me he said, Victor, you gotta let your family go. Me too. You, 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 you gotta let your wife go, you gotta let your kids go. You you, you can't hold on to them. Amen. And you know what? I had to let them go. Because how many know that sometimes the things that you're holding on to, you find yourself in a struggle to fight. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you're willing to let it go, Amen. God will see to it that if it's His will, yes. He'll yes. bring it back. Yes. How many know some things God take away from us? He He, glad, he, he took it away for a reason. Amen. And there are some things in our life we need to let go when 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 He take it away. Yes. You, you understand what I'm saying? So so don't run by, behind something that left you. And let me say this: anything that's mistreating you, you don't need. It. Don't need it. Amen. <laughs> Some people running behind stuff that mistreat them. Amen. I, know if a, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm going to say it. Amen. If a man ain't going to talk to you like a dog and mistreat you and disrespect you and call you out your name, you don't need him. Don't need if a man can't honor you, get, get him out your life. Amen. Amen. You, 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 you want somebody in your life that loves you, that's going right. to talk to you right, Amen. that's going to treat you right. Amen. Right. The Bible right. said that a man ought to love his wife like his own oh, flesh, didn't it? What do you do to your physical body? You bathe it, you clean it, you put new clothes on it, you put your makeup on, you buy your weed, you make sure you come, you make sure that makeup right, because you love yourself. You want something, you want to look good when you walk out that door. And if I was ever a man love his wife, he's going to treat her right. So don't let nobody mistreat you. Amen. Amen. 
You know? <laughs> I'm good at it. And, and guess what? It ain't always the man. That's true. <laughs> Sometimes it can be the woman. Mm -hmm. It can go both ways. So, so I'm saying to y'all, make sure when God gives you a hug, make sure you treat him right. Amen. Right. <laughs> Amen. Isn't that right, Jordan? Treat him right. That's <laughs> better. Treat him right. <laughs> I, I was messing with Don't y'all think that's. <laughs> Amen. Verse 8. Verse 12. I got 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm finna stop. Like y'all think I'm kidding, though. <laughs> but what things that were gained to me, I counted lost for Christ. Yea, doubtless, I, am, I, I yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost. Yes. He said, lost. Mm -hmm. For why, Paul? Why am I count all this stuff lost? For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Amen. Jesus, Amen. my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. Amen. How do you know that sometimes you're going to lose things when you walk with Jesus? Y'all right. yeah, remember what the Apostle Peter told, told Jesus that time? He said, he said, Lord, he said, he said, he said, amen, we, we're giving all everything up for you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. We're giving up mothers, brothers, sure. sisters, houses, and land. Mm -hmm. And Jesus turned around to Peter, he said, but Peter, there's nobody mm -hmm. that has forsaken houses, land, Family, Amen. that I won't give it back to them. Amen. Now, now notice this. He said, I won't give it back to them a hundredfold. Amen. He said, not in heaven, but in this life. All right. And I see y'all clapping, but y'all didn't listen to the last right. <laughs> He said, I'm going to give you all these blessings, but it's going to come with persecution. That's right. That's right. That's right. So you think you're blessed. <laughs> Now, mm -hmm. wait till I give you something. How oh, many when God give you some people really start talking? Yeah. Wait a minute. They think they Now they got a nice car. They got a nice house. They got a good husband. They got a good wife. They doing well. They just think they better. How many? Sometimes when you get blessed, that's when your enemies really rise up. Yeah. Right. When they see God about to bless you, God, God about to put something or somebody in your life bless you financially, Amen, and, and, and do great things for you. That's when you really get to see who love you. All and right. Who they ain't worried about you as long as you're broke. And broke. Yeah. yeah. But by acting like, <laughs> act like you want to do better. That's right. See what happened. But well, well, Sister Luana trying to educate herself. She trying, she trying to look good. She, she doing her hair every day. You know, and, and, and you got to be careful because people see you on Facebook and you're doing your hair. You're looking cute. They say, Gary, you're pretty. Everybody don't mean that. Show <laughs> the, the, the Bible said, be careful when all men speak good. All right. Amen. All right. Everybody that tell you you're nice looking and you're looking good don't mean it. Amen. No, Amen. Amen. So you got to be in discernment. Don't be deceived by, by, right. by, 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 by what people say. That's you got to right. be discerning. Right. So right. sometimes when God bless you, that's when they come out to the woodwork. Amen. Sure. They say, well, Pastor Buzz, God, look what God bless you with. They'll start flocking to you. You know what I told them? If you wouldn't come in with me when I was broke, don't come in. Amen. Amen. I'm going to wave at you and be just as nice as I look like. Amen. And pass it. Amen. Because I ain't nothing I got to do for you but love you and treat you right. That's right. How many of you got to be careful who you let in your circle? Amen. Some people are going to come to you after God bless you. That's right. And them the ones you need to send back where they come from. That's right. And then deal with those that was with you when you broke. That's right. An apostle friend of mine told me this. He said, he said, my grandmother used to always tell me this. You know, you find out who your friends are when you're broken, you're sick. That's right. You show you. Yes, Lord. And it's the truth. Yes, Lord. Because you know what? They quit coming around. Yeah. They don't want to help you. And they'll talk about you. Yeah. And you know what they tell about Job, right? Well, you must have seen. Yeah. I know everything that you go through don't mean you did something wrong. Some things that you go through mean God just testing your faith to see if you're going to stand. So, so, can I say, you don't be discouraged because sometimes it seems like it's hard. Yeah, don't y'all know? I, I mean, now, now, I go through a lot of hard stuff. Mm -hmm. Going through a lot of hard Jesus. stuff. Jesus. But, but, but you know what? I'm not discouraged about it. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. I, I laugh at the devil because I know the Bible said all things work together for the good of, love, of those that love the Lord that's called according to his purpose. Amen. So guess what? When the devil throw harsh 
gossip, I'm just laughing all the way. Yes. Now, 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 let's be realistic. Sometimes pressure come against us. We got to pray. Sometimes right. you got to pray and you got to cry. And that's you got to do whatever right. you got to do to right. get through. Right. That's right. Amen. That's true. So we won't act like we're just super spiritual. So sometimes your emotions get involved. Sometimes you, you, you hurt. You're disappointed. But how I many know you got to press through your disappointment and your pain and, and God will bless you. Amen. You know what I'm telling you? Like, yeah, you don't yeah. feel that. You feel stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If I feel the way I really feel, they wouldn't like me no more. <laughs> but how many of I got control? But I got I have control over my emotions. Right. Amen. I don't let my emotions control me. Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's the that's a big problem mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. You know, don't let your emotions control you. Amen. You know, and, and a man shouldn't be emotional. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. It's normal for a woman to be somewhat emotional. <laughs> but it ain't normal for a man. A man emotional, there's something wrong with it. Just, just <laughs> emotional like a woman crying and, 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 and always in his feelings. There's something wrong with it. All right. Yeah. 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 And I don't have to tell you the, the rest of that. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> Amen. A man may have it, but we may hurt and we may be disappointed yeah. and we may cry, but he shouldn't go around all day crying. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 You might need to find you another man. <laughs> God didn't need God didn't build a man to be emotional. He built a man to be a foundation for his wife. I know that if I'm going to be as emotional as she is, then nobody's going to be the foundation. Nobody's going to be able to encourage and empower one another. That's right. It don't mean that all women are just emotional, but 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 pretty much that's the way God created y'all. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And the man needs to know you don't need to be emotional. You need to be a foundation. All right. Th think about Moses up there. You got a big army coming against you, and he get his emotion. <laughs> How you gonna leave somebody? And you emotion. Now the reality is this, but in the spirit. We all can get to a place mm -hmm. where we don't have to live out of our emotions. That's, that's right. right. That's Male right. or female. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but, but because that, the woman was made with emotions and created that way, she, she has to battle with that. Because mm -hmm. the, 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 the woman operates on how she feels a lot of times. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. just, that's, that's just the truth. Mm -hmm. But as born again believers, we shouldn't operate out of our emotions. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because you can feel like I don't like you and you can be wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people feel like that. Yeah. Pastor Bond, you just, you just, some, you don't smile all the time. It don't mean I'm not. It don't mean I'm sad. It don't mean I'm against you. It just means that a, a lot of times my, my jaw is internal. Sometimes I may not be out grinning with a big smile and all, what, 32 or how many is showing. Amen. But, but I'm, I got joy on the inside. Amen. And if you talk to me, you'll find out I ain't mean. Uh, uh, that's right. just, just, that's right. I like to watch and observe stuff. I, uh, you know, I'm and I ain't going to grin at you and I like, I, lay, I like you and don't know you. That's right. Now, maybe if I get to know you, then I can sit down and laugh with you, grin with you, smile with you. But, but I want to see what's in your heart before I sit down and commune with you Amen. and talk with you. I'll be smiling at you and you'd be the biggest devil. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, y'all don't like the truth. For the excellency of the of, of the of the knowledge of Christ. Amen. My Lord, for whom I suffer the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I may win Christ. And listen to verse 9. And, 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 and be not in him, excuse me, and be found in him not having my own righteousness. And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but but we should be walking by righteousness by faith. Amen. Not the righteousness of the law. Y'all know what the law the Ten Commandments. Some of us think we're made right by, by, by keeping the Ten Commandments. But, but y'all remember we, we talked about this last Sunday. The uh the, the, the uh, young rich ruler. Jesus came to him. Well, he asked Jesus. He said, Jesus, what, what must I do to, to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, keep the commandments. You know what he told Jesus in an arrogant way? He said, Lord, I've kept all of these from my youth up. Then he turned around. He said, but, but Jesus, tell me, but, but yet what like I? He had kept the word. 
<laughs> now he was a ruler of the Jews, which means he was a chosen, he was chosen of God. Mm -hmm. But the, the but, but they thought that they was made righteous by the keeping of the law. Yeah. How many know I don't care? And I said it, I try to make it plain. I don't care if you don't drink, I don't care if you don't smoke, I don't care if you don't cuss, I don't care if you don't lie, I don't care if you don't steal. That don't make you righteous. That's right. It's what the blood of Jesus did, said it on that cross. That's what made you righteous. Amen. Now you do right because you've been made righteous. That's right. But doing right don't make you righteous. It's the blood of Jesus that make you righteous. Do not make any sense. You do right because you've been made righteous. That's right. So how many of you can be you can do right and not know Jesus? There's a there's a difference between good and righteous. You can do good and go to hell. But you gotta be born again and become the righteousness of God in order to go to heaven. Yeah, y'all may not believe this. Y'all might not believe this, and I'm gonna close this. There are a lot of people. That use Christianity to get position. Oh. And, and I've seen it. I've been around it. Oh, I, I've seen people do it. Oh. They'll start young. Mm -hmm. They'll start volunteering. Mm -hmm. Food banks and places, feeding people, helping people. Mm -hmm. But their purpose is later on when they decide to run, from off, run for office. Um, they'll have something they can reference back on and say, I did this for the community. Sure, yes. Amen. And the truth is, some of them don't care nothing about you. Mm -hmm. Sure, no. Amen. You know, That's true. So you can do right and still miss heaven. Amen. Some people think because they're doing good, they're going to heaven. Well, the Lord going to bless me because I did a, did, did a good deed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> How many know the law of sowing and reaping works? Amen. That's right. Amen. If you do good, you're going to reap good. Uh, that's right. Some things that happen to you really ain't got nothing to do with God. It got something to do with the system. Amen. That's right. Amen. If you treat me right, God, the, the law of sowing and reaping will see that somebody come back into your life sure and bless you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because sure y'all know the rich young ruler, he said, I kept all the commandments. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus comes and say to him, he said, now, if you want to be made perfect, mm -hmm. now you did good, you kept the law, mm -hmm. but if you really want to be made perfect, mm -hmm. go sell all you have and give to the poor. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. See, he had a heart issue. Yes, he did. Because he loved money more than he did Jesus. You know, you, you, gotta, you really got to have a, a heart condition. If Jesus tells you to follow me and you said, no, Jesus, I want to go make $100,000 a year. Yeah. Oh. And Jesus knew where to hit him at. He sure did. Jesus said, okay, he thinks he's smart. I'm going to go into his heart. Amen. Go sell everything you have. Jesus. That you may be made perfect, complete. Mm -hmm. Man, that's what Jesus would say that to me. Boy, mm -hmm. oh, I kick out my shoes, my shirt, my <laughs> pants. I take out my Jesus, have everything, man. I, yeah, amen. No. Just to be made perfect, to that's be right. complete. I'll yeah. give it up. Because how many know that if you're willing to give it up, he going to give it back to you. Yeah, that's, right. that's what he didn't understand. So, and sometime in the church, we think because God asks us to give up stuff, we lose in something. God, you know, God asks us. Pay 10% on your tithe. We got, Lord, I got to pay the light bill. I got to do this. I got to do that. God said, guess what? Amen. If I ask you to give it up, I'll take care of you. That's Amen. right. That's right. Amen. And he'll make a way for you. Yes, he will. You know? Yes, he will. And he'll, he'll, he'll make a way. Yes, he will. He'll bless you. Yes. And don't give out a condemnation because we're not under the law. That's right. And I tell people, if you don't give, you ain't cursed. People teaching that lie. That was under the law. Amen. Jesus delivered us from the curse of the law. Yeah. Now in the New Testament, you give because you love God. That's right. You don't give out of I'm afraid that he's going to curse me with a curse. Uh -huh. You give because you love it. And, and let me say this before we go home. Tithing came before the law. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. it did. In the 
didn't just show up in the, in the Old Testament. In the first five books of the Bible, what we call the Pentateuch. It showed up with Cain and Abel. Both of them came and brought their gift before God. But the other one was jealous of one and he killed his brother. And God told him, Sister Cain, if you done well, I would have received it. Instead of looking at somebody else, what they give it, and you get jealous. Some people get jealous. I, I give a hundred dollars, you can't give but a dollar or a dime. Don't get mad at me because I can give a hundred. Right. Just, just say, God, thank you that I'm able to give yeah. what I do have. That's yeah. right. Yes. You know, and if I'm faithful in what I do, what I can give, God will give me more. Right. You know, but, but I always remember this. Because ain't no such thing as I can't give. Because you ain't always broke. Amen. That's right. Amen. You can put a, and, and, and you know, this is what me and my wife teach my boys. If you get somebody, if I give them $10, mm -hmm. like my son said, Dad, I want a lamb. Give me $20. <laughs> give God his percentage. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we teach. We, that's right. Amen. Somebody bless me with some money, mm -hmm. I give God his percentage. Not because I think it will be cursed if I don't. Amen. Right. I give out of love for ministry Amen. and for God's people. Yes. Amen. You know, that's why you never hear me in here preaching if uh, Malachi 3, if you don't give, you're going to be cursed. That's right. We're not under the law anymore. That's right. Amen. Now, right. But, but, but this is a true fact. Now, now listen to this. But this is true. If you don't put nothing in the ground, you won't get nothing back. That's yeah. true. <laughs> you got to plant some seed. Yes, right. That's right. So if you want to be blessed, you give out of love, not out of obligation. Yes. They, and the law they had to give out of obligation because you didn't give, then you curse. Amen. Jesus. In the New Testament, we give out of a grateful heart. Right. Yes. Love because you've been good to me. Yes. I don't know about y'all, but I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Jesus. I'd yes. probably yes. still be in the streets. I'd probably be worse off. Amen. 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 And, and I said, Lord, thank you so much. He didn't kept me 50 years, yes. never been in prison, never been in jail, yes. never Amen. been in trouble. I said, thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. I, I, I thank God that I'm saved and delivered. Yes. That, that it's been 25, 30 years. I ain't touched nothing to drink. I ain't did nothing. Don't, don't, don't do that kind of stuff no more. Yes. God has delivered me and set me thank free. You, so I, I, mean, I give to God because of what he's done for me. Yes. Yes. It ain't got nothing to do with me being afraid. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's why we all ought to give to it. Yes, right. Yes, Lord, you've been good to me. Thank you. Yes, now, remember this. Like the Apostle Paul, he said, I counted all things as nothing mm -hmm. that I may gain Christ. Yes. yes. That amen. I may gain, that I may, amen, that I may receive his anointing. Mm -hmm. Are y'all willing to give up everything? Amen. Yes. 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 And say, and I say everything, God, whatever your will is, mm -hmm. I'm willing to do it. Amen. I'm willing to do it. I've done it. I've done everything. Amen. Lord, you have everything. Amen. And the good thing about it, I don't care what nobody else says. Amen. Because I love him. I love him. And this time we'll do our highs and offering. Anybody got this, anything to give, we'll, we'll encourage you to give it. Amen. We thank y'all so much for coming today. We appreciate you. And remember, if you want God to bless you, be willing to give it up. Amen. Be willing to say, God, I count all things lost that I may win Christ. Amen. And no matter how you feel, you got to go with the word. You know, when you want to hate, you got to love. Amen. Amen. Because I'm willing to give everything up for him. Amen. I'm willing to. I'm willing to. Now we can pray for everybody. Everybody been praying for us pretty much. Amen. So we, amen. amen. And anybody else need prayer? We'll pray for you. And again, amen. we thank you all for coming today. We appreciate you. All. Uh, we encourage you. Amen. Obey the Lord. Do do the Lord's will. Yes. Uh, and, and I'm gonna close. I have a testimony. I, I, I told Bethany, and I was laughing about this, Bethany. Uh, um, and, and I said, God will fulfill His word. And it was so funny. <laughs> I told Bethany, I said, Bethany, I said, this person, I said, watch it. It ain't been long ago. I said, I said, watch it. I said, they gonna call me. Mm -hmm. Just give them a little time. Amen. They'll be back. I said, I, I've seen 
this thing over 15, 20 years. I said, watch it. I said, they're going to repent and they're going to get it right. And, and, and they're going to find out that what they're doing was flat. Just to show. That person called me the other night. Pastor Barnes. <laughs> and I listen to this. You a prophet. You know I was going to call you, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I said? I didn't respond to it. I said, call me tomorrow. We'll talk. <laughs> I didn't even listen to it. I said, that's a call me tomorrow. We'll talk. Because you know what? If God say something, God's going to do it. And, 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 and I don't say that to nobody shame, but but I say that because it, it's people all over this country and, 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 and in the church now they're taking grace and they're abusing it. Show me. Show me. Because you got grace don't mean you can do what you want to do. That's, Ooh, that's, that's true. right. That's so right. true. <clears throat> Paul said, I won't frustrate God's grace. Mm. I heard a preacher said that over there, over in London somewhere, they were they, they, uh, uh, they was preaching grace. And, and you know, men thought it was okay. They, they said we was under grace. They was they were sleeping with each other's wives. They was doing all kinds of crazy stuff because of grace. The Lord will forgive us. Jesus. Mm. They took it and abused it. Mm. Grace don't mean you can do what you want to. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. It don't mean that. And, and church folk using it now. Well, Lord, uh, amen. I, I can go to the club. Lord, forgive me. Now, now the thing about it, you can't go. <laughs> but how many know that at some point in life, God going to move his hand? Mm -hmm. And you'll reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. I remember I backslid out of church a long time ago. Yeah. I was mad at Christopher. <laughs> I was mad at him. I said, God, I can't stand religious. Don't, don't, don't let him come around me. <laughs> but one night I decided I'm going to go to, I was on the University of Alabama. I said, I'm going to go to the club tonight. And I listened to him. I went out to go to the, go, go to the club on the university. About 2, 3 in the morning. We out, there's a group of us out. I'm going to show you how God will how God mess your night up. <laughs> I was getting ready to go in, and a white man mm. just all of a sudden walked in front of me. <laughs> and he stopped and he looked at me and he said to me, he said, why are you here? You don't belong here. And when he said it to me, I said, I better go home. <laughs> <laughs> but I looked back around and the man was gone. Uh -huh. Now, but I went, I, I was heading home, and when I got home, two or three people got killed in there. Wow. Wow. Mm. 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 But I made the mistake of letting people frustrate me and run me out of the church. Mm. But how we know this 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 time I decided. <laughs> I can love you, but I can live without you. Amen. And you're not going to stop me right. from serving Jesus if That's you mess right. up. Amen. Right. Amen. So get what? I stop putting my trust in people to the point now, to the point where whether I stay saved or not, don't depend on them. Because I mean, when you obey, you got a lot of trust in other Christians. And if they do something to hurt you, then you'll stop going to church. Yeah. Amen. And then, you know, and, and, and so I thank God that I matured to a place in my life now that guess what? Amen. It's just me and Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, now I need fellowship. I love my brothers and sisters. Amen. But I can survive if you quit. That's right. Amen. Amen. Don't Amen. never live your life based on whether somebody else serving Jesus. Amen. That's right. Because you won't make it if you do. Because sure. humans are not going to do right. Sure. <laughs> That's right. You know? So always put your trust in God. Father God, 
Thank you for those that have given today. We speak Luke 6, 38. Said, give it to be given back to us. Good man to press down, shaking together, running over your cause, men to give into our bosom. Father God, bless every person that have given today. And Father God, your word said that you give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. And Father God, amen. We ask that you give seed to those that did not have to give, God. We pray that you will give them seed to sow. Amen. Wherever they may be the next time, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God, we pray that you will watch over us and keep us and bring us back at the appointed time. And Father God, also bless this food that we're yes, about to receive God. to speak the blessings of the Lord over it. Let it minister nourishment to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Anybody got anything they want to say? We thank y'all for coming today. But but we, we are dismissed, but but we thank y'all for coming today. Thank, thank you so much. Preacher, we appreciate you coming today, Pastor. Amen. 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 It's a blessing to have you. And we believe in God that you're going to have a good report. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. When you go to that doctor, Brenda, yes. you got to be at the doctor this week too, don't you? I have Amen. surgery in the morning. Come oh. Let me pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray for you before you get out of here. Yes. Now, y'all can go ahead and start doing what y'all need to do. If y'all want to eat, if you got to go, whatever you need to do, you can do it. But, but, but we're going to pray for her. Father God, we ask you to touch this woman of God, touch her body. Father God, even as you go before those doctors tomorrow, we decree that the hand of God will be upon, amen, upon those surgeons and upon those doctors, God. We decree by faith that God, that she's going to come out with victory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Ma'am. Yes. Bless this wonderful God. Father, we ask you to use her greatly. Father God, as she continues to go out over the highways and the byways and minister to others, I pray that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will be upon her. Use her greatly for your kingdom, God. Stir up the gift of the Holy Spirit that's on the inside of her, Father God. I decree that your prophetic, your deliverance anointing will be upon her life, God, like never before. Give her insight, wisdom of your word. In Jesus' name, the Holy Spirit of all, be with her, be upon her, and use her for your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Everybody else good? Hallelujah. Father God, bless the woman of God as she goes to surgery. I pray that your hands will be upon the doctor. We decree that she'll have a success. Father God, we speak holiness, we speak now.